Hi, I'm Jerry Dreger, Dreger's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Dreger's Clubhouse where I want to show you this uh, 2016 Carry Cargo trailer. It's an enclosed car trailer, it's a 24 footer and uh, I bought it mainly for storage so we could use it ourselves. We're going into winter right now and if somebody wants to buy it that's fine. Uh, this uh, again is a brand new trailer. I like the fact it's got this very secure system so you got locks here and you can lock it there to open this up and of course it opens up and you you got a uh, nice looking setup in here. The and tires are the original tires and everything and if you get down here real close Andrew you, I want to point out that you can see the the tips on the tires right there. That's how new this trailer is. The guy bought it in Mount Vernon, took it to Bellingham. I bought it in Bellingham, Washington, and I towed it back here to Seattle, about 80 miles. So this trailer's got probably 125 miles on it total. So it's a brand new trailer. And again, I just bought it for storage. It's got a ventilation system on here too. So it's got vents up front and back here. And the other thing I like is these little marker lights, and we'll show you those in just a gif here. So, again, this has got the big door on here. And I've got, this is LEDs here. Good lock setup. And this door comes down nice and easy. you got to watch out, Woody. Now, it had a set of tire tracks in it when we bought it, but uh, I, so we painted, uh, Andrew painted the floor gray, so it took the uh, tire tracks out. That's the only time the guy used it. We haven't put anything into it yet. So you can see it's got a nice big opening on there, and we'll measure this up for you. Just a jiff, so you know what size it is. And again, you can see how easy the door goes up and closes. Another thing about this trailer, it's got the uh, 5,000 pound axles on it, so it's 10,000 gross uh, weight it can carry inside, or total, I should say. Again, the tire tires are all brand new. It's got the silver, this is called Silver Frost, so it's real pretty, much nicer than a white trailer. Uh, it's got the rock guard here on the front, See, here's your ventilation up here in the front where an air would go in here, and it's going to come out the back on the lower side. We've got the rock guard on here. The other thing I like about this trailer, look at the tongue on there. If you've got a motorhome and you want to tow a trailer, you want to make sure you've got a long tongue, because otherwise the, this will swing into the motorhome. Again, a little marker light up on top there. And the other thing I like about this thing, look at the size of these chains and hooks. These are the best hooks and chain I've seen on a motorhome, or on a, on a trailer. Look at the size of them. Sometimes they're smaller than what they should be, I think. So it's really good. So this trailer is dovetailed from right, starts right here down. So it's dovetailed down to get it down lower. We have four tie downs, two back here and two up front. And these lights we discovered, you have to have the headlights on to make them work so they're wired in to the uh, truck or whatever you're going to tow with. The other thing I like on this thing, I, the finish on this is very nice. They use aluminum on the outside here, come across and they got this curved aluminum in here. And you can see the roof is all aluminum on, and you can see the steel on there uh, all the way across and the ribs and everything. And it's it's an unfinished trailer, so you could paint this. You could do any number of things you wanted with it. But I, you know, I like this trailer. That's one of the reasons I bought it. I, I needed a trailer for storage. We put these down, these mats down, because we're going to put a car in here, and that's what we bought it for was to store a car through the winter time. And uh, so you'll get to see that. We wanted to keep our paint nice and clean. Now people always want to know what the width of the. Uh, opening is and the height on the opening so I figured I'd, I'd do that for you right now and take a look and see what it is I don't know myself 
Though it is uh, 73 inches on the uh, height. You on? Yep. So the width is 89 and a quarter inches of uh, width, the opening. So this is a 24 foot trailer, but the inside measurement measures 23 and a half uh, feet right there. There's 20, 23.6 inches. So people ask us what's the distance between the, on the wheel wells, and so it's 82 inches uh, on the uh, width on the wheel wells. And the height of these wheel wells, they're, they're pretty standard. Most of these trailers are pretty standard, you see. So there's what, eight inches. This is a 36 inch opening side door. Here's the keys for it. They've never been off of here, so we're locking this. And you see that this works excellent. Then you can put a padlock in there. We're going to load this car uh, in here, the, the 66 Mustang Coupe we have for sale. And we're out of room, so we're going to put this in here and store it. And you can see we got lots of room. You can see the clearance on it and everything. We got a lot of room on the back side here. And that's where I would tie it down. It would be right there, just kind of centered over the uh, wheel wells. And, of course, you can see how we got a lot of room in front of the Mustang. It's just kind of just back of the door opening here a little bit. So there's a lot of room. I mean, I've had a trailer this size, and I've had motorcycles in there. I've had three motorcycles stacked in front of a pretty good-sized car. You can see we took the mats off here, and it's nice and clean. With the mats on there, that's why we did that. And again, you can see how, how much room it has. And I like the way these things come around. Lock down and put a padlock there. Good to go. You can see how bright those are. These trailers actually uh, maneuver quite easily. They're easy to back up and everything, so uh, it's not a big problem. And towing it back from Bellingham, it was high winds. The wind was really, it was really blowing a lot. And this trailer tows nice. Another one of our trailers. So how's that? He backed it right into that spot next to that trailer. And I didn't give him any direction at all. So they, they back up easy. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.